Welcome back on a beautiful Friday, a spring day at that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Time now for our weekly tech roundup with our expert editor of bandwidthblog.com, Tennis, uh, Janssen van Rensburg. What a week it's been. I think dominating the tech headlines, Galaxy Note 8. They've announced, obviously, this incredible new device, um, a, a smart speaker to go with that. Now, a little bit of wearable tech. Yeah. Okay, John, were you lucky enough to get anything? <laughs> Not um, quite. So, so what's the buzz? Right, so um, it's IFA, um, the, uh, the conference in Berlin, and there's obviously a lot of new tech being launched um, all in a very short period of time. Yeah. For, first and foremost, the, the um, Samsung devices are really you know, taking the world by storm. Yeah, they're dominating, yeah. You know, after the launch of the, uh, the Note 8 just a week before, now we've got the Gear Sport. So wow. as you can see, it's a circular smartwatch. It looks a lot like the Gear S3 that they've launched previously. Um, but this one is more for the fitness-minded uh, consumer, right? So it's a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. Um, it doesn't have 4G connectivity, but it also gives you a lot um, better uh, water resistance. So you can literally jump into the pool, <laughs> jump out of the pool onto your bike, and there you go. It's, it's as simple as that. And it's got all the same smart functionality as we had with the Gear S3. So it's going to be a, a hell of a seller, I think, especially yeah, um, in South Africa, it might do really well. Yep, I love that. The triathletes are like, yeah, yeah, no, it's mine, it's mine. <laughs> um, then Game of Thrones, I mean, come on. <laughs> Game of Thrones has been blowing our minds. R.R. Martin is um, here, George R.R. Martin, at that is so slow. So, so, in fact, that the series has outstripped him writing the books. He's busy with the current one, The Winds of Winter. Um, but I think we, we might be needing to turn to an AI to just finish it. <laughs> so, so a, a tech developer has basically built an AI that has taken the first five books in the series, um, crunched all the numbers, you know, um, kind of extracted a lot of data from those books, and he's built an AI um, with neural networks that is actually writing the next book um, as an aside, just to see how quickly you can, out, you can outdo I George R. Martin. I guarantee you everyone's going to die. Everyone <laughs> is going to die. Plug that into a quantum computer, please. please. Well, actually, the, um, the, the, the developer said that it's quite difficult to build this AI because there are so many characters, so many place names. So many variables. The, the, the computer actually forgets who died and who didn't. <laughs> <laughs> just like us. That's how they can bring in characters who have passed away as new characters. Characters <laughs> in the in the series, but we love it. And then um, a big move for Google. They actually have a brand new logo. Yeah, so so they've changed the whole look of YouTube. So I mean, I'm a YouTube junkie, right? So so I got used to it relatively quickly, and with, with that I say a couple of days. <laughs> but for a lot of people, I think it's going to be a big shock when you come to the new site. Um, when you first come come to the new logo, the new look, it's it's a little bit darker, it's a little bit cleaner. So it's kind of part of this whole philosophy that Google had to clean up all of their services, make all of it look more or less the same. So it's one cohesive ecosystem. And um, I think it's taken quite a couple of people, uh, you know by surprise, um, but I think it's good, just going to add the functionality that they need to kind of drive the users um, to become more engaged with their platform, and that was the idea behind it. Because that market has become so segmented now, some major players, Facebook, a lot of people driving into that content space as well, so they exactly. need to differentiate themselves. Uh, my brother, thank you so much for keeping up to speed. I know it's your job, um, <laughs> but we love it. Thanks for letting us plug into your brain. Come on, George R.R. R. Martin, get writing, sir. There's an AI after you. <laughs>